Okay guys, this is what I got. I got probably one of the cheapest little tents you could get. I am going to set it up and I'm gonna put it in the back of this thing. Do some truck bed camping. So I was just gonna get some tent poles and just kind of put them down in the uh, little holes in the bed and just make like a, you know, a hoop and put a tarp over it and, you know, bungee cord it down or whatever. But in order to get a uh, tarp that big, and you're looking at about 20 bucks for a tarp. So I'm like, well, why do I want to do that when I can just get a little cheap tent for 20 bucks? So we're going to test this thing out, see, see how it does. Um, really, I'm not too concerned. Basically, I just need something to keep the dew off of me, or if it was to rain a little bit or something, to keep the rain off me. You know, back in the day, we used to throw a mattress back there and just sleep. But you know, I don't like waking up having dew all over, you know, being soaking wet. Well, that was pretty easy to set up. The only problem I can see is I brought an 
a twin size air mattress. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna fit. That might be fun. Well, that actually fits in there really good. I'll, have, I'll actually be able to close the tailgate if I want to. The only thing I didn't notice, or well, when I went to buy it, is it is a side entrance. It'd have been better if it had been on the end, but I've well, got plenty of room to get in there. Now I'm gonna get my air mattress and see how that works. All right, guys, I got my little power station here and I got the little blow up pump for the air mattress. So I'm gonna go ahead and blow it up and, and I'll show you kind of what it looks like on the inside when I'm done, see how much room I got, which not gonna be much, but should be sufficient. All right, there it is with the air mattress in it. Couldn't get a lot of air in it because the plug's all the way at the very end. So when it pushes all that air in, it pushes your arm out. So I got enough in it. It'll keep me from sleeping on the bed of the truck. Now I think I'm going to grab my sleeping bag and blanket and all that stuff. Get all that set up in there and then set up my stove and probably cook me a little bit of food. Yeah, so right now it's almost 70 degrees, so it's pretty pleasant now. I think the low is supposed to be 46 tonight, so it's going to be a little bit chilly. The sun's still up, and it's about to drop down below the hills, so once that happens, it's going to start getting cool. I do have some firewood too, so we'll probably try to build a fire tonight and just kind of sit out and enjoy the fire and enjoy nature. Here's the fire pit, and it's pretty small, I think, it, and it's pretty so I think I'm going to dig some of that ash out and kind of try to make it a little deeper that way when I start a fire tonight It's down in those rocks and not setting up on top got a lot of dry leaves. It's fall. So don't want to cause any forest fires That'll do it. Tell it rained not too long ago. It was pretty wet when I got down through the first layer. Oh. I do love just sitting in nature. Animals come around, watch them. Peace and quiet. Oh, by the way, if you hear some voices or some dogs, there's some houses right down the road, so just so you know. There is another camper here, too. They're not here right now, but after a busy, hectic week of work, this is a nice place to come and just chill out and listen to the wind blow. I did notice this tree above the truck. I don't think it's dead. But, you know, that is something you always kind of want to watch, especially when you're in a tent. Uh, you know, you don't want no whittle makers coming down. That other tree right there looks okay. This one looks okay. But that one's questionable. I'll kind of keep an eye on it throughout the night. If it starts dropping limbs, I might just jump in the truck, pull it up, or back it up a little bit to make sure I'm not in the way. Blackbeard fire starters. We love them. Probably wouldn't have started a fire so early, but there's a lot of these little bugs flying around, and I'm hoping this will kind of clear them out a little bit. All right, guys. I think it's dinner time, so I'm going all out right here. Gonna have me some, well, ramen, basically. And I think I'm going to have me a can of macaroni and beef. Probably just eat it right out of the can. But first I got to get some water boiling so I can fill that thing up.
I'm going to let that set for about three minutes and then I'm going to put in this secret ingredient that everybody should put in ramen. It's been setting and it's nice and noodly. So now I'm going to show you the secret ingredient that everybody should put on their ramen. A slice of cheese. Put that in there, let it melt, mix it up, and bone up a tea. Alright, the ramen was delicious, but now ready for the main course right here. Yummy goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and put my stove up as you, if you follow us. You know, I'm not a coffee drinker, so I'm not gonna need it in the morning. And I didn't bring a breakfast or anything because this is just a quick overnight stay. Just testing out the tent and how I like doing this in the back of a truck thing. So I'm going to get this folded up and get it put away. That way it's all done for the night and I can just sit down and relax by the camp campfire. I think I got a faulty seal on this. Can you hear it? Yeah, I'm going to set this way over way from the fire because I think it's still seeping out.
keep looking back there because I hear something walking. Eh, probably some more deer. I seen some run across the pasture a while ago. So, uh, you know, something walking up behind you in the woods, you know, automatically want to look and see what it is. You guys can't see nothing because that's how dark it is out here. But we got some deer snorting. I'm gonna see if I could catch it. Of course, every time I turn the video on, they quit. But it's rut season, so they're all active right now. So it's because it's frosted a couple times. And of course, they're not gonna do it now. I'm wearing this little light that we got. Uh, we did a review on it, but I've got it in, like, it's got that little magnet that hooks on your collar or whatever. You can see how dark it is out there. I'm going to turn this thing on real quick. I don't know if you can see how much light that little thing puts out. And that's just that little bitty light that's on my collar. That's, uh, that's really nice. That's got to be deer. See, it's like raising its head way up and then it's going way back down like it's eating acorns or something. You could hear them running. I can still hear them, but they're way up the hillside now, so uh, probably just some deer. I hope you guys got to see some of the eyeballs and hear the noises. All right, I'm gonna climb up in here and get into this little bitty tent. See how that goes. little all powers because I'm one of those guys that's got to have a fan year round no matter what the temperature is so I got that and I got my little UBS UB the USB fan so I can have some air circulation in here see you in the morning
about eight o'clock in the morning or so. I've been up since about five. But, you know, when you work for a living, you're used to getting up for really early. It's really hard not to. Uh, but I had to wait for a little while. Let the sun come up so you guys can see me. So, slept really good. A little chilly. That's I'm getting my. I had brought a hoodie and a stocking cap just in case. Uh, a lot of animal movement last night. Seemed really bad between about 10 o'clock and 1 o'clock in the morning. Then it kind of died off for a while. And then, of course, started back up this morning about 4.30 or so. But kind of funny story. It was about 3 o'clock this morning. And I felt... I thought I felt the truck move, like something had bumped it or something. So, of course, I wake up, and I'm just sitting there listening. And then I hear something jump into the bed of the truck. Well, of course, my first thought was raccoon, because in a campground, we have pretty friendly raccoons. So I started unzipping my doorway, leaving the screen up. I turn my light on, peeking through, and right then, a cat jumps up on the bed rail right in front of me. I think, uh, think about had a heart attack, just because it startled me. Uh, so, yeah, which, you know, I told you yesterday, there's some houses on down the road here, so it must be one of, probably one of their cats. So, but tent-wise, tent did fine. Uh, no condensation in it because of course I had that fan going so it kind of circulated and there's big old air vents on top um, and I don't know if I told you or not the dimensions on this tent is three and a half wide and six and a half foot long so in my eight foot bed I have no problem putting it in there and I think I'm four I think I'm four foot wide so that's why I got enough room to slide in even though it's a side entry now, if you have a six foot, six and a half foot bed, you'd be able to fit in there all right. Uh, I think the other ones are five, five and a half, I don't know. Of course, then you're gonna have to leave your tailgate down. But besides that, pretty happy with the tent. Pretty cheap way to go out and camp. I think I'm gonna have a couple breakfast bars and then I'm gonna pack it in and head to the house. I got a bunch of honeydews I gotta get done today. And, Plus, you will not be happy if I stay out here all day. So, you know, I was telling you about that cat. Well, there's proof. Luckily, with a dusty truck, you can see the paw prints where it jumped down on the side of the truck.
hope you guys enjoyed this little, you know, solo outing. Like I said, you don't have to have a lot of money. Just, uh, you know, 20 bucks for a tent and a little bit of gas money to get you where you need to go. Just make sure you clean up anything that you leave or drop. and That way these places will stay free for us to use. But that's all we got, so thanks for watching.